So work has a very specific meaning in physics. It has a general meaning in English, just regular English. Um, it means all kinds of things, actually. Something, you know, what's work and what's not work. But it has a very specific meaning in physics. So let's talk about that meaning in physics. Work in physics is a force over some, let's call it a distance. Force over some distance. So one thing that's not work, or work equals zero, is just holding something in place. So equilibrium is an example of work equals zero. Even though, you know, holding a heavy thing might feel like work, in terms of physics, it's not. So more that you know, that's sort of one example, the easiest example of a force along some distance. But what if you have a force that's in one direction and the displacement of the object is in a different direction? Then we have a more general statement. And the more general statement is that you have the force as a dot product with some displacement d. So a dot product means if you have some force, let's say that goes this direction, but the thing actually displaces from point A to point B, then the displacement vector looks like this. And you want just the component of the force that's along the distance or the component of the distance that's along the force. But however you slice it, if this angle is phi, the dot product is going to be F D cosine phi, where phi has a specific meaning now phi is the angle between them, not some other random angle. But it has to be the angle between the two vectors. But now, what about if the force is changing over the path? What if, in fact, there's a little bit of force and then a lot of force, right? So let's say you have some path from A to B, and you start off with a little bit of force, and then there's more force, and then maybe more force, Oop, that was kind of wavy, and then even more force, you know, how do you take care of that? Well, to do that, now you have to add in little bits, little steps along the way. So in that case, then, the work is going to be the sum of little bits of work. So a force over a little bit of path, and we can call that path ds. And so we're going to integrate over the whole path from point A to point B. This is called a path integral, sometimes called a line integral. Okay, so what do we do next? Well, now what we're going to do um, is think about how do we get back to the simple case. You get back to the simple case when f is constant through that path and when the cosine of the angle between them is constant over that path. Then and only then can you pull the force out and then you just have the sum of little bits ds where a little bit here ds would be along this path. Okay, so let's see. So what's next um, is units. We should talk about units. And so the units of work are in joules. The units of work are in joules which sometimes we just write J. And if you're thinking to yourself, why would we calculate this thing, this thing called work, just for fun? No, not just for fun. It tells us something incredibly useful about the system if we calculate the network. So stay tuned. <laughs>